It's my stop. I think I just cut him off rather abruptly. Apologies, Maury, if you can still hear me. Um, welcome, sound hole sniffers. It is Monday, August the 16th, and today I have a question for you. Are you familiar with the Maury's Music Mystery Guitar Podcast? What's that? You're not. Well, have no fear, because today we're going to play it live on video. We're going to hide the guitar, and you've got a guess based on the sound, and the clues that Maury gives you what this guitar is. So without further ado, actually, I have one more ado. Oh, that sound smells really good. Maury, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing really good. That <laughs> caught me off guard in, in the most cool way. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you to Lee for sending in videos of sound hole sniffing. And this, this guy, let me just show you it again because that was so fast. Maybe you missed it. Here we go. This is, this is courtesy of, of uh, Lee and Rosanna. Oh, that sound hole smells really good. And this has given me a whole new idea for the show. Really? Send, me, send me your clip sniffing the sound hole of your guitar saying, this sound hole smells good. Right? 
and we'll just play them randomly throughout the show. <laughs> I won't even say when I'm going to do it. I'll just play them. So if we could all do that, everyone that watches the program, if you could all do it for me and send me a video and, you know, t you know do your hair, make sure you're ready, um, put some real feeling into it, you know, really sniff that sound hole. Maury will do one as well. And uh, I'll just play them randomly throughout the show just to, like, to... You know, to, to lighten things up a bit as we go along, so Rosanna, did you, Rosanna, did you see that? Let me know in the in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Maury, you have this thing on Tuesdays, right? Called the Maury's Music Podcast, and you play a guitar, and obviously we can't see it because it's audio. So you play the guitar, and you give clues throughout it. I've heard it; it's very well done, very professional. And at the end, you reveal the guitar. So we're going to do that today, but on my stream. And obviously, we won't show you the guitar until the end. So I want to see who can guess the guitar from just the sound. And remember, watch this in 1080p on YouTube. Put your headphones on. Based on the sound and the clues, let's see who can guess it first. And I've also, I'm not aware what this guitar is. I've hidden the preview screen that I normally have. So I don't know what this is either. So I'm going to play along with you. How does that sound? Pretty good. It's going to be fun because I, when I record this podcast, I'm by myself, and it happens where you put it out into the, the, uh, the wilderness, and people listen to it without me. I, I don't ever get to see anybody's impressions. Uh, this is the first I'm going to be able to do this show after 20 episodes and actually see what's going on in the minds of these guitar fanatics, mm. including you, which is fun. Because maybe we'll get it after the first clue, and then you can use that to inform your podcast, right? <laughs> yep. I don't think I will, but we'll see. Um, first of all, let's jump over to the chat and say hi to our friends. David, oh, David, you got big again. Look, let me bring that down. There we go. There we go, every week. Thank you. Okay. Right, hi. Da <laughs> hi, David Belcher. Good afternoon, Aaron and Maury. Good to see you here. And Howard said, is it the OM28? And I said, we haven't started yet. Um, because that, that would have been way too easy if the guitar for the game was that one that we could see on the screen. That would have been way too easy, Howard. Let's see if you can guess it without seeing what this guitar is going to be. And Mark Johnson says, Hi, Aaron Amori from Bristol, Virginia. Muddy Creek Critters is here. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Howard Garner. Sorry, just replying to the heading on YouTube. Oh, no problem, Howard. I was just letting you know. And I said there, that no problem, the mystery guitar will be hidden until the end. I don't think this is going to be easy. I think we have to really work at this. Old says, hi, from upstate New York. Good to see you, Olds. Olds. Uh, important question for, for you, Maury. Does the winner receive the guitar? <laughs> we really should. No. <laughs> since, we've, since we've implied it's kind of a game, we really should address the rules and the outcome first. You do not. You do not win the guitar. You just get bragging right. Yeah, you win bragging rights, and that's a great thing on the internet to get. Sure. <laughs> Bemo is here. I hope the mystery guitar is a twelve-string. That should make it easier. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe. That would be way too easy, Bemo. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see. Dan of New Jersey. Hey there, Aaron. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> and Howard says no. I think that's because he doesn't win the guitar. Anyway, like I said, you get bragging rights, you know. Old says, we need a sound hole emoji. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do. We do. I'm thinking about doing that because um, in the future, I'm going to enable uh, memberships and then you can have custom emojis. So I have to get someone to make me those. Yeah, it's all it's all in the works, Olds. So don't worry. It's all coming soon. <laughs> Rosanna says, hi, Aaron and Maury. Happy Monday. Hi, Rosanna. <clears throat> Patsy me. Smith says, hi, Rosanna and everyone in the chat. And she saw it. Good, because I played it, what, was that three times or twice I played the video? <laughs> <laughs> He's not done with it. I'm not, and I need more. I need more. The funnier, the better. Please, send them in. Oh, where's the address? Let's show the address quickly so we know where we're sending these videos. Say hi at AaronShortMusic.com. We. I think I moved that one. There we go. So yeah, um, remember, playing the guitar, unboxing a guitar, pictures of your guitar, and if you can do a, hmm, that sound hole smells good clip, that's even, <laughs> that's going to be even better. Thank you very much in advance. I'll leave that there for a little bit. Okay, so 
Roweth, unfortunately, is working again. He's in a meeting, but he's still tuning in. So, <laughs> not sure what to say to that, Roweth. <laughs> <laughs> if they hear if they hear that clip while you're on your meeting, that's not my fault. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Jack Wickwire says hi guys. Hi Jack, how you doing? Oh, just the picker one hundred. Hi from Cleveland. <laughs> I like Cleveland. Nice. Oh, so I hope you're at least limiting to Martins. Oh yes, of course. Of course, that wouldn't be fair, would it? If it was a Gibson. What's the point of that? <laughs> I think it's a ukulele. That'd be too easy as well. It's going to be... I'm yep. pretty sure Maury selected some kind of six-string Martin acoustic. I'm pretty no sure. Yet. Pretty sure. Wait. Rosanna says hi to everybody. Uh, Roslyn says hi from beautiful Connecticut, where gas is $3.09 a gallon. How much is gas where you are in Coldale? Is I it, don't is it cheaper than that? I know it's a lot because <laughs> I have a van, but I, I don't... Uh... I don't look at that stuff. It's it's what it is. It's I don't have any any way to change it, so I don't I don't look. Oh well, if it's expensive, simply drive to Connecticut and get it there. It's only three dollars nine cents a gallon. There you go. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Anthony Phillips, what's up, everybody? Tone guy. Why did Tone guy change his name? Is that a joke? I thought it was Tone guy before. No. It still is. That's how I know him. Ah, but I thought it used to say Tone Guy on the screen, no? Oh, man, yeah. maybe on Facebook it might. Oh, That's Facebook, okay. Everyone's hey, got... Off topic, you have to get him to do a video for you. One of the, uh, you know, one minute long original stuff. Really, he has a lot of really good original material. I say it all the time, we need more videos, right? We've, we've had some amazing videos so far. Like, Rodrigo is here. Great performer, goes live on his channel. Rodrigo, I know you, I know you, I know you can hear me. Give me that video, come on. <laughs> Send me the video, we'll play it. And then at the end, you sniff the sound hole. It's, you can actually do everything in one. But I'd like to, yeah, do it all in one. I'll just cut the end off and put those in the show as well. But how cool would it be if, as we're live, the viewers that are in the chat just pop up and sniff their sound hole on the screen and then disappear yeah. again? That'd be great. Because yeah. then it's like we're seeing them on the screen and we put a face to the name. That would be sure great. Is. Um, I, I made a decision the other day not to read out people's real names of course if you want me to do that you must always tell me it's okay because i don't want to i don't want to give away people's real names if they don't want me to but uh yeah if you're okay with it send that video we'll show it if you're okay with the show in those videos send them in or just get a family member to do it instead like like uh, rosanna did <laughs> <laughs> i think it's about time rosanna did one yes it is in a really Over posh there. accent oh this sound hole smells wonderful like <laughs> Um, Dan said also hello to Maury because he said hello to Aaron earlier and didn't say hello to Maury as well. Thank you. Second fiddle. I think we're going to change the, the, the format. We're going to discuss local gas prices in the USA. And we're, perhaps we'll get more viewers. <laughs> what could go wrong with that? Rodrigo says I can define it if it's if it's a right or left handed guitar only smelling the sound hole of them. What? Um, I can define it. Oh, okay. You can tell if it's right or left-handed by smelling it. That's because you only own right-handed guitars, though, isn't it? <laughs> Alex, how you doing? California, where gas is four eighty a gallon. I was looking for like a um, a noise to play for that. I don't. Maybe this one. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty. That kind of says it all. Get rid of that. That's old now. Get rid of that. No, I'd be like. How much is the gas here today? Four eighty a gallon. Uh huh. That's what you would say. <laughs> Just One tuned time in. I did that in a video. <laughs> well, every time I watch you, it's this sound hole smells good. <laughs> well, I told you I was going to do that. <laughs> you recorded it for that reason. <laughs> oh, um, and there just... was a show we did about a month ago where you did something even funnier, and I told myself, and I think I said it on camera, I'm recording that, and oh. I lost it. I don't know which yes. episode that was. Hello from Vienna, Austria. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. How much is gas there? <laughs> <laughs> Train noses around here. See, Rodrigo gets it. I just need the video of him doing it now. Anthony Phillips. Maybe I'm logged in here under the wrong account. We'll just log into both of them and subscribe to the channel on both accounts. There we go. <laughs> hey. Just kidding. Go. I don't. I don't. I don't skew the metrics. Just kidding. Oh, he's logging out. Okay. Whoa, $7 a gallon in the UK. 
That's if you convert it to dot for pounds to dollars. Is that is that quite the same? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. I knew I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah, I thought you might be. All right. So bear with us. I've got a few more announcements to make. First of all, following on from last week's video, we had a really interesting discussion because Maury was showing off his this well this very guitar you see right now. That's the OM28VR. And he was saying, well, I assumed the V was the V-neck because it has a V-neck. And then the R, Maury was saying it's reissue, stands for reissue. But he did a live call to our friend Spoon Phillips, who said it actually stands for Rosewood. And he sent me a detailed explanation that I'd like to read out. And by the way, uh, we, we delayed Spoon. Spoon will be here next week. Maury won't be here next week. It'll be me and Spoon. So you get Spoon all to yourself next week for Q&A. So put that in your, in your calendar. OK, so this is what he said in an email. The Vintage series debuted in 1996 with the D28VR, D28VRS, D18VM, D18VMS, and OM28VR. The R stands for Rosewood, the M stands for Mahogany. Since Style 28 is always... Oh, hang on, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do this. Hang on. Amateurs. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Where was I? Da, 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 da. Since Style 28 is always rosewood and Style 18 is always mahogany, they dropped the R and M from the stamp in 1999. However, the model names continued to keep the R and M on Martin's internal lists and build sheets. It was probably related to their recording keeping at the time and how many sets of rosewood or mahogany needed to be selected for the next batch of vintage series guitars. By the way, the V stands for vintage series, not V-neck shape. The S stands for standard 12 fret design, not slotted headstock. Have a great show. So what do you think of that, Maury? Well, I will tell you what he tells me when I say that kind of stuff. Don't tell me what kind of show to have, first of all. Um, <laughs> And that's an old one my dad taught him. Yeah, I I, uh, I thought V was vintage, but I really didn't know R was rosewood. And I don't know why I didn't believe that either uh, Spoon Phillips or Tony Phillips wouldn't know all that information. I fell in love with this guitar in 1998, two long years after all that started. So I wasn't expected to know that. I really thought the V was for V-neck because it has a V-neck. Yeah, it does. They, they often, either people have said that to me in the past or they've used that on V-neck guitars. I can't even think now. But it just goes to show how people see these things and just make up their own kind of, well, like you did, Mommy. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. <laughs> anyway, that is the word from Spoon Phillips. And if you want more words from Spoon Phillips, join us next Monday at 4 p.m. EST. Okay, I'm going to catch up with the chat and then we're going to explain the rules one more time and get started with this game. Because we're going to, this will be the whole show, this game. We're going to play a little bit, give a clue, do some chat, play a little bit, give a clue. And I guess the first person to guess, guess it right is the winner, right, Maury? That's right. And okay. this game normally takes seven minutes, so I want to see how much chat we have. I see how good your clues are. Hopefully not too good. All right. More, more gas prices first. 1.4 euros per liter, <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> gas ranges from 303 to 349 in Brooklyn. I'm just going to go in the local garage. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's <laughs> see what it is. The V is vintage series. The R is rosewood. See? Now you tell us, Tone Guy. Now you tell us. <laughs> oh, 329, where, where BMO is. Old says, it's amazing the people at Martin didn't realize 28 was rosewood and 18 was mahogany right away. <laughs> it is strange, isn't it? Because twenty eights are always rosewood. In case we've got some new 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 people here in, into Martins, twenty eight is always rosewood. Eighteens are always mahogany. So that's why it didn't make sense that it'd be uh, twenty eight R because twenty eights are R R. So <laughs> R D R R. <laughs> Poo Ninja says forty two is the answer. Well, Poo Ninja, if the guitar is indeed an O M forty two, you may have just won the game before we even started. So we'll see later on if you were right. Never know. <laughs> I hope not, because I'm going to say we fixed it. <laughs> What's it matter? There's no prize, right? Just bragging rights. So that's fine. That's right. Poon Ninja already has bragging rights because he was on 
Toman.de's oh, YouTube yeah. channel. Wow. Okay, so oh, don't even get me started on how many people incorrectly thought the S in a 12 fret dread stood for slot head. Wow. <laughs> don't even get me started, he said. <laughs> All right, so Maury, just before we start, just one more time for people who just joined us. What What is your podcast about and what are we doing here today? Well, it's called Mystery Guitar, and we take one guitar, one Martin guitar from our current inventory, and what I'll do is I'll play some original music, I'll give you some hints along the way, and it's progressively helpful. So the very first hint isn't very helpful at all. By the time you're at the third hint, it narrows things down quite a bit. And by the time you get to hint number five, if you didn't guess it from the tones, the, the combination of hearing it and all five clues really should narrow it down. And it's interesting because this is something I record here in the studio and then I put it on the web on Tuesdays and I never get to see anybody listening to it in real time. I have to suspect lots of people who do listen to it are traveling or driving. One of the first clues uh, points you back towards our website. If, if, you, if you recognize I have to be playing something that's in our current inventory, the first hint if, if we don't have it in stock, it can't be that guitar. So it does narrow things down right off the bat. I kind of suspect on today's show, since and maybe I shouldn't suspect that, maybe a lot of people are, are watching this, this program with access to their phone or their tablet or their computer. Could you hear the first clue and quickly go to our website and look at the current inventory list? That's really your first clue. And it's, it's going to be interesting to me to watch this progress as I give you a song and a clue. I with your help and, and the interaction of our, our good friends in the chat, I'm going to get a, a perspective I've never had before with this show. So, Okay. Some live market research. Yeah. Time Guy says, it stood for standard as the 12 fret body shape was the standard Martin body shape before the 14 fret models appeared. This show is just a wealth of information. It's Don't great. get him started on that, though. I'm so glad Time Guy is here. Yes, I am. Right, this is what I'm going to do. Hold on to your horses. There's a lot of songs about horses yesterday on my live stream. That's why I said I that. I saw that. I was surprised. And I'm going to go over like this. So he's either going to be hidden away, or we've still got the old one here as well. See which one we prefer. We've got this one too. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that? that Was that me or you? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make that? It looks good. I was thinking, I've got your logo in the middle. It should be my logo in the middle. I thought so. I thought you. I guess I was just in a generous mood that day. Ooh, okay, nice. if I take that away. Okay, so it's covered. Okay, great. So we're going to get started. So Maury's going to grab this mystery guitar and play something for us. And we'll see if we can guess what it is. All right. Pay attention. Okay, so just like on the regular show... You're listening to episode whatever number this is, the Mari's Music Mystery Guitar. We're going to play some songs, give you some hints, and at the conclusion of the episode, the big reveal. All right, your first hint is not very helpful, but it is. This, your first hint, this instrument, is in our current inventory. Now I still have the guitar in my lap, so don't cut away to the guitar. I wouldn't dare. I'm so anxious about today's show because I, if, if I reveal it by mistake, like if I hit the keyboard by mistake and it shows the guitar, <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm, I'm on edge here. So yeah, put that Good. thing, put that thing away. Because right. I, I want to see what people think. I want to monitor the chat as we go. Okay, that guitar is away. 
Because I wanna I wanna reply and respond to what people are saying, alright? Sure. Okay. See my heart just stopped. When I saw that guitar, my heart jumped. So this, like, it's, I'm, I'm gonna about, hold this between between takes. Yeah, this yeah. is just the dummy guitar. No, I'm just like I'm just like on edge, you know? Because I don't want to give it away. This is the dummy's guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, I don't know what it is. I'm playing along too. But I'm gonna I'm gonna critique and comment your comments now about what which guitar you think it is. See if I agree with you. And actually, if someone does get it, Maury, then don't reveal it. We'll reveal it right at the end. Otherwise, it could be someone could just guess it, and we could have a very short program. <laughs> Good point. And I'm actually along the way. I'd like to know. Uh, let us know in the chat if you already have seen uh, the program on the podcast. Yes. Have you watched the podcast yet? Okay. Bemo thinks it's an SC13E. Now, as much as I think the SC13E is a great guitar, I don't think there's. If that is an SC13E, I'll eat my own hat. I don't believe <laughs> it. That's sad. I, that doesn't. No. Okay. I might have to, I'm just going to be very honest in this show, and at the end, I, if I'm wrong, I will eat my own hat on the camera. I have to go get my hat, though. So I might put some salt on it. Okay, so last night, should have requested Ride On. That's another horse song. Turns out I know, turns out I know a lot of songs about horses. Hmm. I think it's not one of the lefty guitars. I mean, it could be. You know, I, I thought of doing that. <laughs> Andrew and I talked for a few minutes about do a lefty. Nobody would believe it. And, yeah. You'd, you'd know how it played. A few minutes. You're getting, you're getting serious about this thing, uh, Maury. We are. Wow. We are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds like an HD 28. Oh, it's got a very full sound. I feel like my f first thought was, is that some kind of OM? But maybe it sounds bigger than OM. I think it sounds like, yeah, HD 28 is Rosewood. I think it sounds like Rosewood. So, Alex, you might be onto something there. Let's see if you still think that as the clues come out. 007. Ding, 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 ding. I think I know which one it is. Okay. Oh, I, oh, did I just get a copyright claim? Oh, man. Probably. Okay. Can't do anything anymore. I think I know which one it is. Okay, well, keep it to yourself if you want to, and then you can come in at the end with the answer. Definitely not an X-Series. I would agree with that. I don't think it sounds like an X-Series. Again, if it is, well, every week I'm learning something new. Rosanna thinks it's the D... True love. Hmm. That's possible, Rosanna. Tone guy says Maury didn't grunt when he picked it up, so it's not a dread. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know him way too well. <laughs> D35 says David. I'm not, not too familiar with the D35, but it's possible. This is a very interesting show because we Maury has spent weeks demoing and showing us guitars in his inventory, and now we're flipping it around to see who's been paying attention. Yeah. So, who yeah, has right. been paying attention? <laughs> Sounds okay. dread naughty to me. Yeah, I would say that. My first thought was OM, and then I thought it sounded bigger than an OM, so then I thought maybe an M size or a dread size. But I, st I need to know more. I'm still... I can't tell just from a sound clip, unfortunately. It sounded fairly bright, maybe a smaller body model. Hmm. I heard some low end there as well, though, Muddy Creek Critters, so I don't know. Just a picker says not mahogany. I would agree with that because um, it sounded it didn't have that kind of mahogany sound to me. So I would agree with that. But who knows? Again, it's just my opinion. Rosanna watches every week with Lee. And it sounds like a dreadnought to her. Rosanna, do you play the guitar? It'd be it'd be interesting if you get this right and you don't play the guitar, but you've watched so many episodes of Aaron Short music and Maury's music. <laughs> That you can identify any Martin from a thousand feet. <laughs> this sounds like a very special D35. Do you know something we don't, 007? I hope not. Dr. McFarlane Studios, how you doing, buddy? He says, howdy, Hello. fellas. Because he lives in Nashville. He say, howdy, fellas. I thought he was from Georgia. Well, he lives in Nashville. Or near Nashville. Gone straight in with a specific answer. The D28E, says Patsy Smith. Maybe she can hear that pickup wire rattling around inside. Ooh, <laughs> and please, people, don't react to my facial expressions when Aaron talks about the chat here. I'm not going to give anything away. If I make a, if I have a tell, it's, I don't know, just don't, don't read in anything into how I'm looking at Aaron when he talks. Just, just keep yeah. playing. He's, he's good at poker, so he, he, he won't give it away, right? Reimagine series or above, <clears throat> probably a D or HD. I would I would go I would I would kind of agree with that olds. 
Sounds like it's short scale. I'm guessing a triple O. Could be, yeah. Could be. This is great. I love I love the way people are thinking it. I can't wait to go back when we've finished and see what people were saying earlier and see who got it right first. That'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah. That's why I teach songs on my website and not on YouTube. Yes, you don't get copyright strikes. Yeah, I get it. Uh, can you put Maury's link up so I can look at the inventory? Sure. I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> Worldwideweb.maurysmusic.com more in but you know don't don't get lost there and don't come back again all right make sure you come back yeah two browsers <laughs> open another browser um howard says i think it's an acoustic guitar might be <laughs> does he have a j or m in stock oh i see what he's doing because he wants me to say well go to maurysmusic.com and you can have a look for yourself I see. I see what you did here. Very clever. Hmm. Just got here. What did I miss? We're playing the game, uh -huh. David. Guess the guitar. Guess the guitar. You have to guess what the mystery guitar is. We'll, we'll do another one in a second. Bear with us. And by the way, today's viewer's comment is from our good friend. Um, so hang on for that as well. Uh, I will guess the D18 Modern Deluxe, says Rosalind. Could be. I don't, it doesn't say mahogany to me, but maybe. I've seen some, but not all of Maury's blog. Cool. There's a lot there to see. Marco Godzo. Hello, Aaron Maury. I'm not guessing. Waiting for the second hint. Uh, see, that's very wise. To keep your card to yourself and wait for that second hint, and then <laughs> swoop in and steal it. There we go. Maury'sMusic.com. Did I spell that right? Thank you. Yeah. Probably. The J size 28. Mm, could be. It does have a big... A big uh, rosewood tone to it. Possibly. The, oh, here we go. The weight and smokiness. Dark overtones of the notes make me think it's rosewood rather than mahogany. Yes. <clears throat> which which thins my options down considerably. I, that's exactly what I thought, but not in quite such an eloquent way, tone guy. I just thought it <laughs> doesn't have that dryness that mahogany has. But yeah, it's got more of those kind of things jumping out that, that rosewood does. So I think so. It's a Les Paul through a kooky IR. <laughs> <laughs> we have our winner. I caused quite a stir on the acoustic guitar forum with my um, ultimate... That was a bit tongue-in-cheek, by the way. Ultimate IR comparison video. It's just something I wanted to do for a long time, and Anderton's did one similar, so I thought I'll follow on from that and, and get it done. And I just happened to be kind of getting ready for it, and then Kooky did an IR just randomly, and it was so good, I thought, oh, now's the time to do this. And we'll throw that in there as well. So great that job, Kooky. Great. I also think I also think the new X is great as well. That's a great for 175 bucks. If you own a condenser mic and a way to power it, then I thought that IR also was excellent. <laughs> I mean they're all good for different reasons, and as they develop firmware, I will cover that on my channel and I'll redo that video. But that was a really fun one to do. Alex says, sounds too warm to be a modern deluxe. Hmm. This is great. I can't believe how many, how many um, comments we're getting for this. This is fantastic. Thank you. It's only one hint. Yeah. Only one hint. You've got to know when to hold them, when to fold them. Yeah, he mixed the gambler. That's why he said that. Great job, buddy. Oh, Ricardo, how you doing? Hi, fellas. Sounds like a 28 series. Not hearing as much bass as I would expect from a dread. Yeah, I'm kind of on the edge. I'm like, sounds like 28 Rosewood series, and yet I can't tell yet if it's kind of an OM... An M or a D or an HD or or even a, yeah 35. I need more clues. Looking at Maury's site and there's a nice Addy VTS J size that fits the bill. He's had it on the site for a while. That's a great guitar. I'm surprised that's still on the site to be honest. But just my opinion. The 16E Rosewood. Hmm. I don't. I think it's a. I think it's a reimagined series. But again, I don't know. Squire through a pig nose. <laughs> Definitely not that. Could be a new arrival. Oh yeah, when did you last go to the factory, Maury? Well, it's not newer than our website says. I was there okay. Friday, but it's the website's current. Bemo, final guess, D13 Zero Cote. D16, because it sounds like an in-between. That's a good point. Yeah, that could be it. it. Says play it again and D13 Zero Cote. Okay, so we're gonna play it again. We'll go to part two now. I'm gonna hide him up. Because David Eidelberg has got 
Very sharp ears. So okay, play something. Your next hint. Oh, so sorry. sorry. Go again. Your next hint. This instrument has East Indian rosewood back and sides. Yes. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Aaron, you can go back and look at the list and chop off all the people that were smart enough to say that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need one of these. I feel like the audio might be in the left channel only, or more more in the left channel than the right channel. That could be my headphones, but I don't think so. Oh, maybe I have to make an adjustment. Thank you. Just yeah, just check that. But I, I can hear it loud and clear. I, I will say this: it sounds like a great guitar. So, I, I I think this is this is really fascinating. Can I switch back to the the split screen? Uh, you can. Yes. <clears throat> I think this is this just blows my mind as someone that's tried so many guitars and auditioned and you know and, and owned many guitars when you can't see the thing I, I i know you have to have like the feel you have to like the look and the feel and everything of a guitar right but when you take that away and you just hear it and you just say yeah i like that i want that sound for myself then that really <laughs> changes things doesn't it sure this could be a whole new thing for you more you could just get a customer on and just say, right, I'm going to play you 10 guitars. You choose one that sounds the best, and that's the one you're going to buy, <laughs> right? I mean, this kind of makes a lot of sense. Wow. So, 007 says, bingo. Yes, Rosewood fans. We got it. Sorry. You should have known, though. You should know me, right? Well, actually, I threw up. I just, I just found the poll feature on YouTube, and I threw that up there when we went live and said, do you prefer Rosewood or Mahogany? So it'll be interesting also to see if the people that guessed Rosewood are Rosewood fans as well. Oh, this is see. this is actually market research we're doing here today. <laughs> Just kidding, not really. Um, lots of resonance. Yeah, it sounds like it's got a very present um, sound. It hasn't got a ton of low end, I don't think. That's why I keep thinking OM28, and yet it's, I think it's bigger than OM28. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of sticking with that, though. Let's see what everyone says. Based on Maury's inventory, I'm going to go all in on the triple O 28 Eric Clapton. Now, it could be because someone said it's short scale, and a triple O is short scale, and this is Rosewood 28. So it could be the Eric Clapton with a natural top. I can't hear the natural top. It's just that the sunburst Eric Clapton is on order. Ah. Yes, I don't think I can tell the difference between sunburst and, and natural, but you're, you're right. You're checking the inventory. Lee says, is that my guitar he's playing? Well, it could be yours, Lee, if you move to the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Howard says, finger picking really brings out the fab tone. That's why I'm going towards OM28. But Jack is staying with the J28. Can't pay enough attention, says Roeth, to play along right now, but enjoying the comments and Maury's playing as usual. Oh, you're how much, kind. How much do you pay him to say that every week, Maury? 60 bucks. This is the best one so far. Sounds expensive. <laughs> Ooh, I can't tell. What does that even mean, sound expensive? It means it sound good? Or, I don't know. Yeah. D28. I, don't, I think it's too sparkly for the D28. Like I said in my review of the D28, I like it for certain styles. It's got that mid-range to it. But it doesn't have, unless you've got really new strings on it, it doesn't have that, that presence and scoopy sound that the HD has. I'm still sticking with OM, OM28, possibly the HD28. 
Um, David says, I had to in good earbuds and I'm listening again. What kind of strings and mic? Phosphor bronze or 8020? Well, I don't know if we can tell you that. It might give it away. Hmm. We might tell you that later on if no one gets it. We can tell you that it's the regular microphones that we always use here. The mm. Rode NTG2 and the Rode NT5. Nothing about today's program is any different from the other streams we do on Monday. So the mics haven't changed. And I thought I'd hear every detail because I'm watching on my PS. PS? And listening. <laughs> and listening over an excellent amp and my best speakers. Oh, yeah, there's a YouTube app on PlayStation, right? Yeah. Uh, important question. Is that the four or the five? If it's a five, where'd you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Muddy, Creek, Muddy Creek Critters. Possibly a triple O28. Yeah, everyone's kind of... I was thinking OM28, people leaning towards short scale, triple O28. Does a question, and does Maury have a triple O28 on his website? And That's if, the question, yeah. If not, because he's not going to tell us, you've got to go and check for me. And if not, it could be the Eric Clapton that we know is on the website. Either a triple O or OM Deluxe. So again, I don't know the current inventory because um, I didn't check his website last night like I usually do. So <laughs> you, have to, you have to look for me. Now everyone thinks I'm just sending them to your website, Maury. I, 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 have, I can't pull it up on here as well. You have, you have to tell me. After the first example, I was very sure. After finger picking, it was more difficult, but I'm still in the race. Don't worry, 007. We got the, we got the, uh, the Rosewood. Old says, I'm down to OM28 Mon Deluxe J or M series. David says, pretty balanced, but more mids and highs than lows. I'd agree with that, but the low is very clear. OM28 or higher? I was thinking along the lines of the OM28, David. Triple O42 says, just a picker. That's a tricky one because, it's, you know, can we hear that? Can we hear this, like the 42 series versus the 28? We've discussed that before. I don't know. Maybe. It does sound very good. Oh, actually, Patsy said it sounds expensive. Yes. And they are more expensive. <clears throat> so we could be onto something there. If he's got a 00042 in stock, maybe that's something to, to consider. Do I? Rosanna still thinks that it's a, a D. Hmm. Oh, that sound <laughs> smells really good. <laughs> no, you ruined it. You spoke over it, Maury. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm oh, poor Rosanna. Rosanna, who is that, by the way? Is that is that Lee's mother? And is that which guitar is it she's holding up? Let us know. That's the next. That's the game for next week. Sp guess the guitar they're sniffing. <laughs> I still think it's a D. Hey, Jazza, how you doing? Just got here. Cool. Good to see you again. I can't. I really can hear a sunburst top. They usually sound darker. Wow, that's for another episode of mm. Martin Mondays, comparing the sunburst tops in sound. Wow. D42 says Lee. Triple O28 left-handed. I don't think it's left-handed. He's not that good. Oh, it was a PS4. It's PS4 Pro. Very good. Uh. I think it sounds better on the PS5, though. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, Maury's finger picking gave me more information than his strumming. Yeah, me too. We, I've noticed that. I actually know, people say on forums that finger style tells you more about a guitar than strumming, and I think I've gathered that from this show as well. It always does give me a bit more information than the strumming. <laughs> Alex says, 42 series do have brighter, more ringing trebles, I think. I think so too. Although I was out one day and played a 45, and it didn't have that that didn't have that sound. It sounded quite dead, but I think that was probably the strings that was hanging on the wall. I think that was that. I, I have played a few 42s that do have a bit more of a presence to them, and I think Spoon said that could be the extra decoration adds that when you route it out, uh, things like that. So it could be. Could be some kind of 40 series. 40 series? 40 series. I can speak today. That's Lee's mum and the CEO 9. Okay, great. <laughs> Oh, that sound oh, smells really good. So please let her know we played that and she's now an internet celebrity. <laughs> a minor internet celebrity. Um, Marco's going for a D45. Is there a D45 on Maury's music? Maury does not have a double O anything Rosewood in stock. Okay, that narrows it down. 
and he's got magic hands. All right, we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to show you the viewer's comment, which, believe it or not, wasn't <laughs> the sound hole sniffer. We've got two videos here, so I just need to get this ready. I'm going to mute the microphones. Um, we're going to have a, a um, talk through a new guitar and then a quick song, all right? So I'm just going to mute my mic, and we'll be right back. Make sure you uh, subscribe and ring that bell. Hi guys, I wanted to show you guys my new HD28VS. This is a 2001 model, 20 years old, vintage. This is a 12 fret guitar with a slotted headstock. And I'm really looking forward to being able to play in it for you. I know you guys will enjoy it as much as I will. That you love me You know from my voice I love you Sing cause it brings me the pleasure Telling the world about you Time passes oh so quickly When we've got the time alone so I put down in words what I'm feeling How I can't wait to come home And without you I'd sing just sad ones There wouldn't be life in my songs I sing every love tune for you, babe You're my music and I am your song The music is part of my dreams To share with the people who listen Feelings I have when I sing the Thousands of people around me Your face is the one that I see You are my reason for living song that I sing And without you I'd sing just sad ones There wouldn't be life in my songs Sing every love tune for you, babe You're my music and I am your song And without you I'd sing just sad ones there wouldn't be life in my songs Sing every love tune for you, babe You're my music and I am your song We need a big round of applause for bigger than that. Here we go. All right, Maury, now it's your turn to play a game. Can you name your customer? <laughs> yes, I can. That, that is the one and only Philip Watson. Very cool. Wasn't that great? Very, I love his voice. Love his yeah, voice. I, I really enjoyed that. I think that's one of his own songs. I hope so. I'll get the demand side. Yeah. No, I've heard that. That's, no it's good. So he's a you know, great song, great voice, great play. That guitar sounds awesome. I'm not sure exactly which guitar that was, but it sounds great. Wow. I so, it was uh, J40. Oh, that was a J40? Oh, wow. Maybe. That's what so, the inlays look like. But love it, Philip. Great job. Philip, great, great job. job. Thank you for, saying, for sharing that with me. <clears throat> and if you want to share a performance, just a hello or a picture or anything, send it to say hi, AaronShortMusic.com. And I know who hasn't sent me anything yet. I know. I'm, I'm still waiting for you, <coughs> David. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the game again, and I shall come back to our comments. So tip number three over to Maury Rooch. All 
All right. And it's it's worth noting these clues were all taken care of and they were pre-done two hours ago, so I'm not making them up as we go. Your next hint, this instrument has herringbone trim. Okay, what do we think of that? David Eidelberg says, tip your server. <laughs> Perfect person. Is that me or you? <laughs> I don't know. We, we, I guess we are serving up hot Martin guitar related content on a Monday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> can I switch back? You can. <laughs> um... Perfect person said, nice. Oh, we're now we're talking about uh, the performance. Yep, lots of rounds of applauses. Fantastic. Bravo. Nice to be loved. Great performance too. Love you too, Philip Watson. Great singing and playing. And yes, my audio setup works. Sounds like he is here in the room. Yeah, it nice. sounded big, didn't it? And I think that's through, like, I'm guessing it's through his iPhone or phone. I'm not sure, but it, sounds, yeah, it still sounds great, which is a good sign for a guitar. Old yeah. W30, round of applause, down in New Jersey, one of these. <laughs> Bravo from Roweth. Applause. Great job. Lovely lyrics. Yeah, he got the whole package there. And Tone Guy too. Wonderful Philip. Okay, back to our guesses. Jim says it's a Martin Custom Shop. Triple O, size 28, star with Addy Spruce Top Guitar. Muddy Creek Critter says I see a Triple O 28 Amber Tone. And old says OM28 Modern Deluxe. And I I wrote an answer down on here, which I'm, I'll show you. I, I think I got it, but I didn't want to say it. So I wrote my answer down. I'm going to share it at the end, unless I change my mind. <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think I suddenly got it, and I think I know why I got it. But I don't know. No, I, I don't know. What do I know? I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Okay. Great song and singing, Philip. Guitar sounds good. I mean, that guitar looks amazing. I wish I knew which one it was now. If that is the J, I thought it was, I thought it was his dreadnought. I don't even know. I should have asked him, but uh, it does sound very very good. Whatever it is, uh, Philip, let us know which guitar that was. We like that one. So, any more guesses? Let us know in the chat. And uh, I really can't wait to. I think we'll reveal in about kind of fifteen minutes because I want to discuss what it is. I want to <laughs> discuss this whole process because, like, if I'm right. And I, I'll explain why I felt like I did. And if I'm wrong, then I'll explain why I was wrong. <laughs> either way, I'll do, either way I'll do it. Okay, so we got no more guesses. I think everyone is stumped. We went from having th thousands of comments and now nothing. So I think the more I th I thought it'd be the other way around. I thought you'd play, there'd be no comments. Everyone would sit back, and then you'd give a comment, and we it would like ramp up. We get more and more. But what's happened is everyone went in fast, like, I know, I know, and now everyone's thinking, oh, actually, what is it? Either that, or they're all now on maurysmusic.com, well, surfing through the on, pages. <laughs> they're probably mostly on, on Philip's YouTube channels, if that's my guess. Oh, yeah. Actually, I forgot to say that. Go and, uh, if you liked his song, that'd be great if you went to his channel and subscribed to his channel, rang the bell, and left him a comment on his page. I'm sure he'd really appreciate that. Let's share that, spread, spread the love and share the love here, right? 
But but come back here too. <laughs> but don't leave. Yeah. No, everyone's still here. We've got 32 watching. Oh, 32 in the chat. But no one's guessing what the guitar is. <laughs> no. I, I'd like to take this chance to ask the chat: Are you have these clues made you more confused than you were at the beginning? Because when you when you thought the only clue that you had was that it's in our inventory and you heard one song, has this not been helping? Because it, it's my my intention that the more you hear about, you know, the clues get a little bit more condensed and you hear more opportunities to listen to the guitar. Uh, right away, we can't look at anything mahogany. We can't look at anything not in stock. Uh, what what's going through your mind? I'm I'm dying to know. Ricardo says I'm going to take a family picture to share in the future. That was a great performance. Yep, please do. Let me put it up there once more because everyone's always asked me for the address. There it is. Um, Tone guys still standing on the triple O twenty eight Eric Clapton, which does have herringbone, but I cannot hear that. <laughs> You're not that good, Tone guy. You're not that good. Oh, Rosalind says HD28. I'm thinking along those lines. Muddy Creek Critters is more confused. Everyone's just confused now. <laughs> well, maybe this isn't a good show. Maybe this isn't a good podcast. Clues gave me my choice of OM28 Modern Deluxe. I still want it to be a J28. <laughs> Definitely short scale to my ears. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm kind of, I'm not sure. HD 35. 007 is now confused. I'm just not sure, to be honest, says Chazza. Uh, Maury, did we have a right answer in the chat so far, or shall we still guess? I'll never tell. That's, that's no fair. Not that much longer. We've got like 20 minutes before we reveal, Marco. Don't worry. I won't make you wait until 5.30, because I want to discuss it before we finish. Tone guy to says, to yeah, don't, yeah, I know it's late over there. Tone guy says, what I've heard only helps with my choice. Haven't heard anything that doesn't sound like a triple O twenty eight Eric Clapton. Well, it ticks all the boxes that everyone's been saying, because we've been saying twenty eight, we've been saying Rosewood, we've been saying short scale. Um, that that has the does that have the herringbone? Yeah, it must do, right? So herringbone. So it does tip the it does tick the boxes. Staying with the short scale, Martin Custom Shop, triple O, size 28 star with Addy Spruce Top. I didn't know he had one of those. Pretty cool. Everybody make sure you go and check more site. <laughs> yeah, and give me a thumbs up on the way out. <laughs> and then on the way in, give me a, subscri a subscribe. <laughs> I, think that's what, I think that's what's happening. Everyone's like furiously scrolling through your site and trying to find what the guitar is. Hey, if there's a lot it. of increased web traffic to my website... I don't know what to tell you. Jim said 20 minutes, five minutes ago, you said 15. I know, Jim, but YouTube <laughs> YouTube has this lag, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I want to do... I want, oh, well, hang on. How, how many more clues have you got for us? Two more. Two more. Okay, so that's perfect. We'll do another... In a second, we'll do another clue. We'll have one more talk through the chat, then we'll do the other clue. One more final guess, and I've written mine down, and then we'll reveal, and then for the last 15, 20 minutes, we'll discuss the process and how we think it went. I feel like I'm in school doing a science project or something. <laughs> that was not my intention. Which is not my intention at all. I think we need to lighten things up with one of these. Oh, that sound smells really good. <laughs> okay, we can do the next clue now. Okay, your next hint. This instrument is not an OM28. Mm. Plot thickens. 
See, I've heard you play that song so many times, and now I'm trying to match those two sounds in my head. I'm gonna go back to the screen. You, you put it down, right? Okay, it's hidden, yep. Okay. I am here. I'm, I think I am hearing this short scale thing they're talking about now. I think I, because I'm, I've heard that so many times on your guitar, <laughs> and you said it's not an OM28, so I think I am hearing. Maybe, maybe they're right about the Clapton, if there's a Clapton on the site. Hmm. So Lee says, I'm working, so I haven't heard any clues. I'll just guess. <laughs> that's not fair. Says, that's me mum. I know, Lee, I had to ask earlier. Uh, I had to ask Rosanna if that was your mother, because it may have been your sister. And tell her, mum, I do have a PayPal account. That's All right. Work. <laughs> that's the most impressive thing I've ever seen you do. <laughs> then I ruined it. <laughs> uh, love this tune. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Maury tunes. We were just saying before we went live that I did I did my ultimate acoustic guitar shootout on my channel this week, and I was playing one of Maury's songs because we do we've done this for so long now that his songs are now ingrained in my brain. I think this is what he's doing here. I don't think he's promoting his store at all. I think he's about to release his debut album, <laughs> M. Rooch, and it, and we'll all have heard we've heard these songs so many times. We're just gonna oh I feel like I've heard this song before. Oh yeah, I have about a million times. <laughs> yeah, we see that. I see your plot. There you go. Jim says, "Oh, he's betting now. And no bets here, please, Jim. I'm betting a month's pay. How much is that, by the way? On a custom shop, triple O size twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah, no betting, but tell us how Whoa. much you make. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, I mean, yeah, that's that's. I, I don't feel comfortable with that, Jim. That's that's dangerous stuff there. I hope you're right. <laughs> Perfect person at random 28. It's late where I am and my brain is out of gear, but I'm not giving up. Okay, what's your guess, Chazza? I agree that it sounds short scale. Yeah, I'm hearing that now. Someone said that earlier and I think I can hear it. Okay, since I heard the slapping, I no longer think it's a dreadnought. Mm. What do I think is a dreadnought? I still think it could be. Aaron is hearing short scale success. It only took me a year and a half time, guy. To catch up with you. But I, my answer isn't short scale. I'm going to stick with my answer. My answer is also influenced by the fact that I know Maury. And I think he might have picked the guitar he thinks I might like. But I could just, that, could, that could be throwing me off. That could be the reason I get it wrong. I didn't do that. <laughs> hmm. Do you want me to set you up for a date with her? Lee! I'm a married man. How dare you? Tone Guy says these are the guitars that you want. <laughs> Yeah. These are the guitars you want? Which Ooh. ones? Oh, yes, I know, I know. I'm retired, says Jim. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Can you find me that sound effect? Nope. Yeah. Once again. Can you find me that sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> great, great answer though. It most likely has to be a GPC 28E, triple O 28, HD 28, or HD 35, says Olds. Okay. We, I mean, I feel like people are thinking short scale 20, um, OM, but I don't know. We, we're going to do one more clue and play, and then after Maury's finished, I'm going to invite you to put your final answer, because we've done a lot of speculating here today. We need you on this on this tip on this um, uh, yeah tip hint and and performance. You need to make a solid decision and put it in the chat as your final answer. Okay, so over to Maury. Okay. Normally, after this hint, we also do a recap, but I'll go out of order, and I'll tell you that it's time to recap. This instrument is in our current inventory. This instrument has East Indian rosewood back and sides. This instrument has herringbone trim. This instrument is not an OM28. And for your final hint, this instrument is a custom. Ah.
Maury. Maury, yeah. Maury. If. Aaron, Aaron. And I'll switch them back there, right? Yep. I'll say this one time. If that is the Engerman 28 custom, I'm going to drive down there after this program. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be hilarious if I couldn't identify the guitar that I keep talking about all the time. Oh man. Okay, so I need you in the chat to give me your final answer. Write final and put your answer, because there's so many different models in there. Write final and put your answer. I, I guessed before the HD28E, which is wrong because it's custom. And I don't actually know all the custom shops that are there because I haven't been on the site, so I can't really... I can't really even enter now because I haven't been on the site, Maury. So I'm going to let the I'm going to I'm going to hand this one to the chat. I will say it could be that J custom, the J custom Addy that you've had for a, a little while, and I think is a great guitar. I'm going to guess that you might have that. So that's my guess. That that J Addy custom. Okay. I stick with that. I'll give you a few minutes while we chat just to put your final answer. So make sure you make sure you indicate this is your final answer so you can't change your mind at the end and say, oh yeah, and type it just as we reveal it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, we got to give them a few seconds because of the YouTube delay, the lag. So this week, this week, I'll be live again. I'm doing 4 p.m. every every time now. So we did, we did 4 p.m. today. I'll be live 4 p.m. Thursday with my live chat. Someone asked me yesterday a question. And what I'm doing is, if I get questions in the in my concert, I'm trying to redirect them to Thursdays because Thursdays is when I just chat and read through viewers' comments and take questions. Yeah. Someone asked me about a great guitar under a thousand bucks, and if they're in the chat Thursday, I'm going to address that with some guitars that I've reviewed on my channel. But I want to just ask you while you're here, Maury, what would you recommend as a Martin guitar under a thousand dollars? Ooh, I saw you say that on the uh, on your concert yesterday. What sounded very good, by the way. Thank you. Um, big <laughs> fan of a big fan of the combination of Kooky's IR and your playing and your EQ matching. Thank you. Uh, I'll, even if I didn't say it as fast as I wanted to. That, on really on the stream idea. on the stream yesterday, I'm playing my heart out. I've spent hours figuring out this IR and EQ matching, and I'm playing and I'm really into it. And then Maury's comment is Kooky, great tone. I'm like what? Well, <laughs> Kooky's not even here. <laughs> yeah, well, but he know, did a great job. Though. He did a great job. He props did. to Cookie with that. But back on track. Uh, <laughs> I, I I think really uh, looking at the Road series would be where I would go. I would I would think something in the Martin Road series, or uh, if you can. And I don't really know the used market that well because we don't do anything used here. Uh, so when I say this, if it's not a thousand bucks, I apologize. Maybe a used fifteen. Ah, oh, okay. So you would go for used. Is there nothing? What if what if they want to buy new? Is there anything under the, a thousand? Prop, the road series. I'd go the into road the road series. series. Yep. I'm just not familiar. I haven't, you know, I haven't played many of those road series guitars, and I have played a lot of guitars like that Yamaha I reviewed, which is like, you know, it's, that's a tough one for me because I prefer I prefer like the Martin uh, history and everything. But those guitars yeah, yeah. are they are great for the, you know. So I always say that about Yamaha. The Yamaha gear. Is not something I personally. It's, this might sound really weird, but it's the truth. It's not something I really connect with, even though I actually got some friends that work there. I just don't with the, the and 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 some famous musicians like John Denver played them. I just yeah. don't quite yet. Maybe I will, but I don't quite connect with them like I do with the Martin and the history and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. the, but what they um, the guitars they make for the price are pretty amazing. Anyway, if he's there on Thursday, I'll I'll discuss that and I'll just look for guitars like that. But yeah, okay. So he used. What do you say? A used a used road series? No. Either a road series or a used fifteen series. A used fifteen, yeah. Actually, yeah, that one I played in Nashville, the the one with no gloss on it, was was pretty amazing. I think it was like fifteen hundred. So yeah, if you could get that for a thousand, that'd be a good one. But okay, that's for Thursday's show. And anything else you want to talk about gear wise? Join me on a Thursday. Ask your questions. And don't forget, next Monday is going to be Spoon Phillips. So bring your questions for him. Right, I'm going to read out the final answers. Here we go. So, let me just find my place. 007 says, I'm also betting a month's pay, not much to lose. 
Tone Guy says, I can't believe Lee is pimping out his mama. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. What's going on with that? I hope she doesn't mind. I didn't get permission to play that video, Lee. I hope I start going and get in trouble. <laughs> Old says, I searched Herringbone on Maury's site and got a list. Ah, you see? You're one step ahead of me. I didn't know you. Oh, so you can just you can search for Herringbone on your website? Okay. I don't know. He doesn't. <laughs> I just work here. He doesn't, though. Why would he know? I'm going <laughs> It's Maury's music. Why would he know? I'm <laughs> it's not Maury's website. It's Maury's music. I'm going for a D28. Okay. I I don't think so. But we'll see. Rosalind says, Aaron, you need some Sandhole Sniffer baseball hats. That's such a great oh, idea. Oh, yeah, so you could eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was I going to eat if I got that wrong? What, what was the guitar I guessed? I can't remember now. Good. Because I have to eat something. Jim says, oh, I'm correct. Custom Shop Triple O size 28. As Jim's guess. I win the guitar, he says. No, you don't. You didn't listen to our rules at the start of the show. Old says, Custom Triple O 28 with Addy Top. And Jack says, a short scale HJ28. Mm. Rosanna says, J28. Definitely a custom Triple O 28. So are we, are, we, are we between the J custom and the Triple O custom? Feels like it. Oh, M36 like custom. It. it could be the M36 custom um, BMO because I, I, I heard it as this. When I first heard it, I thought, is that OM or Dread or something? Is it in the middle? And an M is kind of in the middle, although an M does have a very distinctive sound. I don't know. David says, Martin Custom Shop, shop J size 28 style with Addy Spoo Stop. That's what I think it is. J28, final answer from Rosanna. D28E from Patsy Smith. Chazza says, J28. Final, final, final answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, since it's a custom, might have to recant my Triple O twenty eight Eric Clapton guess and go with a Triple O twenty eight Addy Top custom. So that's in the running too. D twenty eight E final answer. Old says final answer, Triple O twenty eight Addy Top custom. Oh we did hear that short scale, didn't we? That could be. H D twenty eight custom. Can't find a custom with herringbone on Maury's site. That's good feedback for Maury. <laughs> 007 says, final. It sounded much like the D35 Johnny Cash. I don't think he's got one of those, because if he did, I'd want it on the show. But with that guitar, we wouldn't see it, because he's got a black background there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was the hint with the herringbone. Now I'm confused. My tip would be an HD35 that has no custom on Maury's website. So it can't be that then, because it's definitely on his website. The, the tone guy is taking it too far. I need sound hole sniffer box, boxes. <laughs> hey, you know my you know, you know my saying, tongue guy. <laughs> if you'll buy them, we'll ship them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and yeah, well, thank you whoever just subscribed. I just hit eight 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 subscribers. That's a nice even nice. number. Um, share this with your friends. Get me up to ten uh, k before the end of the year. Right, shall we reveal the winner? The winner? Shall. Shall we reveal the results? Is a better phrase. Sure. So. How are we doing this? Are you gonna? I see you just text me the pictures. I can't see them yet. Are you gonna reveal it, or am I gonna throw the picture up on the screen? Uh, I think you should get your drum roll out, and we should reveal it together. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see it when I click on it. So I tell you what, I'm gonna check it what it is, and then I'm gonna you see my reaction because this is this. I don't know what it is. I'm just click on my messages. Okay. This is fun. I mean, I've enjoyed this today. Let us know in the chat if we should do this again or never again. Uh, <laughs> Let us know if I should ever make a podcast episode after this. Hang on, what is this? I actually, I still, I still don't know what it is. Oh, I didn't title it. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I will reveal it, and then you can put a page up in preview mode or something. I'm just going to drag the picture of the body onto the screen. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using that preview. Mode. I never use preview mode. I'm just going to throw it okay, on the screen. Doc Rock. I will give you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Doc Rock. I'll give you a drum roll, and you can reveal it. I'll throw the picture up, and then we can discuss how this went. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, this instrument is the Martin Custom Shop J Size 28 style with Adirondack top. Ta-da! <laughs> 
There you go. So professional. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I can make it more professional. Hang on. I doubt it. Hang on. Ah, oh, still, I still can't do it. There we go. Let's talk about this guitar then. So first question for you, Maury, is this short scale? This is not short scale. Mm. So we were so sure it was short scale, weren't we? It has got the Addy top. Let us know in the chat what you think. I'll read it out. I'm just going to, I just want to say my thoughts before I read out the chat. So I'm just, I'm just thinking back. Remember I said it, that it's got an OM kind of sound, but it sounds bigger than an OM. So this is a J, right? This so where, remind us, where does the J fall in the scope of things? Is a J bigger or smaller than a Dreadnought? Uh, J is like an M with the Dreadnought depth. So it's bigger than mm. the OM. It's smaller okay. than a Dreadnought at the waist, um, but pretty close to a Dreadnought otherwise. So that's what threw me, the fact that it was in between. And I said the Rosewood, so I got that right. I couldn't hear the Addy top, but it did have a, it had an excellent sound. I will say this: it had an excellent sound, and it sounded great. And I like the sound of it. And whenever you've played this, that's what I'm really surprised. I keep saying this: I'm surprised it's still at your store because whenever you've played this on your show, this is just my opinion. Whenever you've played this on your show, it sounds great, and everyone says it sounds great. So I wonder why it's still there. I mean, it's, it's a it's a custom. It's uh, it's got a great sound. Um, what is it? Is it the Jumbo thing? I've never actually held the Jumbo Martin, so I don't know how that feels in the hands. But I mean, like I said earlier, based on tone alone, I yeah. I think it's great. Let me know. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the chat, and um, I'll show us another picture. You can look. I'm sure they're all on your website anyway, so they can look at it over there. <laughs> Let's look at the back. There we go. Almost got like a V run down the back there. A little bit, yeah. That's good wood. It's another yeah. one of my phrases. That's good wood. <laughs> I I'm getting some new ideas from the show. Thanks, everyone. Um, and the headstock. Nice looking headstock here. Nice. Yeah, that's a great, great design. Yeah, I really like it. Let's see what people are saying about it. Um... Rosanna says they love the Maury podcasts. Thank you. Muddy Creek Critter says, yes. Is that you or me? <laughs> That's me, I think. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes was fun. The second the sound hole sniffer hat to go with my T-shirt. Hey, if you, if you want it, I'll make it, you know. Like I said, they, they told me at Teespring the prices are going up next month, but also the quality will be slightly improved. So I'll let you make a decision if you want to buy a, a, a shirt now or wait and see if the quality improves. I'm going to get one of the new ones to, to test them out. I do need to make a new shirt soon as well. But I'll keep that. That's going to, that's going to be the Sandhole Sniffer shirt original. And then I'm going to find a way to make a new one. Maybe the next one will have uh, Maury's face on it, sniffing the sound. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I need to spend more time yeah. on that. <laughs> yes. Duh, says Jim. Duh. Duh. Lee says, I got that, but I'm too busy to comment. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tone guy says, stump me, good job. So I was right from the beginning. So did Jack say that from the very beginning? He, he did. I made a note of that. He, he, was, he said, uh, Jay. Yep, he did. Tone guy says, for once. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope they're friends offline. Alex Crazy. says, is the, <laughs> is the J low about around half an inch bigger? Bigger than... Than yeah. the dread, probably. I, I'd have to put them side by side, but this this is a bigger lower bout. Yeah. Tone guy says Jay has tidal waist than the dread, but actually has the same length sides and the same depth. Hmm. Interesting shape. A good question for Spoon next week. Actually, talk about the jumbo size. I don't know. I never really. I don't think I've ever played one. They. Sm I know they smell good. They all smell good, but. I never played one, and all I know is that when Maury played that, it was a few months ago on his show. I just thought it sounded yeah. great. I really did. Yeah, it's a great guitar. 007, scallop, forward shifted, X bracing. Now I know where my tip came from. There you go. I'm surprised there wasn't more bass, says Old. Yeah, that was my comment too, wasn't it? When I think of the Jumbo, 
because I haven't played one. So when I think of a jumbo, I just think that means huge. I know we've, we've had it on the show, I know, but it just means huge, right? So I think I used to think of a jumbo as bigger than a dreadnought, but that's not right. I thought jumbo was like the biggest thing you could get, right? But that's well, not the ironically, case. The, the fact that the waist gets pinched uh, does make the base more defined, so it loses the dreadnought's uh, surround sound quality to it. Mm. You know? But the it's base got, is more focused on this. It's got scallop bracing, right? Yeah. So it's more of a focused base. That's good to know. And this is actually really interesting because we've we've had this guitar on the show, and it's in a way it's better to not see the guitar because I don't have any kind of precon. There is. I don't have any preconceived idea. I told you this is actually mm. the way to. If I was shopping for a guitar now, and I and I, I was looking at say five guitars, I'd probably ask you to do either recordings or one of your streams that you do for customers and not show me the guitar to start with. And I would write down the one I thought sounded okay. the best. And then I would say, now show me the guitars. And if they lined up as well, that would be the guitar. I think I, this has been really interesting to me to not see the guitar because I have these ideas. Like the minute you tell me it's a dread, I think, okay, boomy, whatever. The minute you tell me it's yeah. an OM, I think, oh, less bass. But I didn't know. Yeah. And to be fair, I did get it. I did say it's in between. And I think you're saying this is more focused. It kind of is in between. So I'm, I'm pleased that I, I did that. But it was interesting to not have those ideas. Like if I'd seen it was a dread and, and thought that, that, I wouldn't have gone with it because I would have been swayed by the fact it's a dread. And every, everyone says a dread is boomy and big and big bass, right? So I, th I think that was great. I really enjoyed that. Nice. I would say definitely a lot of fun. A good show. Very articulate for a larger body guitar. Yeah, I so the finger style I thought is that an OM. The strumming I thought is that an M. Is that a dread? Mm. So it's, a, it's a real chameleon of a guitar. <laughs> you can use it on your website. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I only look for binding, not for top inlay material on the site. Uh. Alex says, sorry, should have been more specific. Yes, I think the J is 16 inches. The dread is 15 5 8 Okay. Oh, Jack says Chris Martin actually came up with a jumbo. Remind me next week with Spoon to discuss the jumbo a little bit because I, I don't I'm not so, as familiar with that model. I want to talk about that. We probably have spoke about it a while ago, but you know we've done like a, a million a million shows now, so forgive me. <laughs> actually, I need Tone Guy still wants those boxes. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. What happens sometimes on Ecam Live, and I never have told them, is that you click. Does this happened to you, Maury? You click on a comment and it loads one from like. Ten comments ago, ever happened to you? It's happened. Uh, to, it's happened to Peter Gregg. I'm not really good at loading comments, so probably not. And you click on it, and you're clicking on it. It's not. It's not my mouse, by the way, um, Roweth. You click on the comment, but it kind of selects <laughs> a comment from ten comments ago. It, you'll see. Yeah. Sometimes you'll see me. I, I, the wrong comment comes up, and that's just the. It's, it's like a bug. I thought that was you. I really should tell tell him. Roslyn says, "Gorgeous guitar. It is. Sounds a lot like my." Rosewood Addy M, says Ricardo. Well, we've said yeah, before, yeah. Addy has a sound, doesn't it? Addy has that big, punchy, in-your-face sound. So, yeah, let us know to finish up in the, in the chat. Did you enjoy it? We've never done that before. I think it was a very interesting twist. We've done comparisons without seeing the guitars. We've done demos of the guitars. We've never done an entire hidden guitar. So let me know in the comments in the chat, if you think I should steal his idea and use it on my show. <laughs> <laughs> next week, or? it's can you. Next week, <laughs> I'm going to play, or? and you've got to guess which shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> just, from the, just from the sound. And let me know, guys, in the chat, if you have already checked out the podcast, where do you listen to it? Apple Podcasts, Google, mm. Stitcher? I'd love to know which platform you're using. Stitcher? <laughs> Are you sure that's a podcast site? Um, <laughs> it used to be. I think I listen. I think I listen to it on um, YouTube. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I downloaded the app you told us about when you first did it. But I'm I'm Podbean. one of these. Yeah, Podbean. Yeah, but I'm one of these people that likes to keep everything on device. So I got the. I almost made a joke about Apple there. But I've got the iPhone, so I've got um, Apple Podcasts, which I do use. But I think you you post it on YouTube, so I listen to it on YouTube. Um, yeah. Well, that, actually, on YouTube, it's a WAV file, and everywhere else, it's an MP3, so you're smart. But do they compress it? 
A little bit. Yeah. What you could do, if you really, if you really loved this, you could upload the full quality HD WAV file to Dropbox and that include a link to it. Hmm. He's not going to like me saying that because it's more work to do. Because I feel enough that... I'm doing already. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before I finish. I wanted to change. I just wanted to try something. I wanted to end this poll. Oh, what was the result? I didn't read it. Oops. <laughs> I asked if people prefer rosewood or mahogany. I didn't read it before I closed it. Oh. Oh no. Did anyone see that? I was going to make a new um, poll. I'm going to do it quickly now, and I'm going to put. Ready? I'm going to put. Should we do this again? Yes or no? <laughs> Ask your community. So there we go. Let us know. You can be honest. We don't mind. It's a, now it's anonymous. <clears throat> this is great because uh, if we ask people to tell us on the chat if they want us to do it again, that, that they well they might say no, but they they might say they might not say no. But now I've done an anonymous poll, so you can tell us what so, you think. So while you're so answering, you and, could, you and I could vote no now. We wouldn't know it. I can vote no, so we haven't got to do it again. No, I really liked it. I thought it was really great. So before I reveal that and we say goodbye, can you just tell us why, where you're going live and what you're up to this week and how many guitars you're going to pick up from the factory? <laughs> uh, I can say I can answer most of those. Like we're going to be uh, the, the podcast goes live again tomorrow at uh, maresmusic.com slash podcast or any of those platforms I mentioned. Wednesday at 4 p.m. is virtual tour. Episode 70. Can you? Take a second to believe that, Aaron. 70 shows now for that? That's crazy. And I, there are people that have seen every one of them. Thank you. Um, Thursday, uh, Clayton cannot do Martin versus Martin, so we might have to postpone that, but keep an eye on our social media. That might be postponed. And Friday, I'm headed to Outer Banks for a family vacation. Wow. I can't wait. I'm already mentally checked out. It's only Monday. Oh, no. Um, yep. Well, we're very happy for you. I hope you enjoy the vacation. Say hi to Laurie from me. Thanks. And don't forget, you get Spoon Phillips all to yourselves next Monday. So do, you know, do, do attend, please. And then he's actually offered to come back again a couple of weeks after that if we get a good turnout. He didn't say that, but I'm going to say it. Get a good turnout. <laughs> all right. I love this. I'm, I'm too relaxed these days. So, mm -hmm. so... Actually, the when you end the poll, I, I know you're going to start doing this on your show, right? You should do, because you end the you have to do it on the browser. When you end it, it shows you the results. I see them now in the chat. So, do you prefer rosewood or mahogany? Fifteen percent like mahogany. Twenty nine percent like rosewood. And fifty four percent like both of them, because <laughs> I put I like them all. Oh. So. Maybe next time that was a, maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Like I need I need specific answers, right? I need I need to be more that's specific. Cool, that is cool. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm just going to read through the final comments, and I'm going to end this other poll that I did and tell you if we should do this again. I'm nervous now. Okay. Just a picker said thumbs up. Chazza says I think we should do it again. Bima says, I've got to go clean my ears. It was so funny. Someone put on a forum the other day, I fixed it. I figured out what was wrong with all these guitars I kept buying. And you click through to the forum post and it says, I went to the doctor and they syringed my ears. Everything sounds completely different. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I laugh about it, but it's actually a good point. There is, there is a point there, you know. Um, Ricardo says, sometimes we get so caught up on looks and specs. I like this idea. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of this, Maury. This is great. Me too. You're so <laughs> smart. <laughs> I loved it. Really enjoyed hearing the guitars blind. I'm wearing the same shirt as Maury or as, as me. Can't see. Oh. Rosanna listens on YouTube. Bima listens you. on YouTube. See, it all comes back to YouTube. This was a fun show. Do it again. Oh, good, 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 good results here. This is cool. This is something we could do sort of once a month just to break things up, you know? I like that. I like the idea of having something slightly different each week. So that's, that's cool. Good feedback. Thank you. YouTube. If you don't mind us borrowing your idea, Maury. No way. This is great. 54% like them all. Tone Guy, I love being wrong, but I'm married, so... Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, great question. Which guitar are you going to take on vacation? The backpacker, of take, course. Well, well, that's 
that's in its case, but uh, the glass display case. But I'm going to take my uh, my D Wood Woodstock 50th. Yes, that's a cool guitar. DX DX yeah. Woodstock. <laughs> someone said uh, someone said on Facebook last week about the the sleeves. Remember the Elvis leather sleeve you can put around the guitar. And I just made it. I just made a joke. You know, kills kills wear, won't get any wear, and kills tone. I mean, I was kind of serious, but it was like a joke, you know. And then they, and then they said that he, uh, Elvis's band had tone. Anyway, they took it too seriously. Don't know why I just thought of that. I think I secretly want a leather sleeve for my guitars. I, I think you should get one. <laughs> That's my next YouTube video. Does having a leather sleeve on an acoustic guitar affect the tone <laughs> in any kind of way possible? Um, yeah, he's taken the Woodstock. He's going to go uh, revisit his hippie days. <laughs> Alex, so Maury needs to sell his entire inventory by Friday. Everyone here, do your part. Thank you. Somebody wow. finally gets it. Wow. Enjoy the moonlight on your vacay, says Bimo. Thank you. Have a nice holiday. That's what we say in England. Have a nice holiday, um, Maury. Thank you. Paul should not have a third choice. I know. No, I realize that now. Because people like to sit on the fence, right? Some people like both. Does anyone actually own both? I don't know. Vacation on Hurricane Alley. Thanks, guys. Have to watch later on. LOL. I bet I get it. Yeah, Lee, there's a different competition for you. How many times How many times was your mother on the show? <laughs> Ocracoke Island is where I proposed to the missus 38 years ago. Nice place. Ah. Oh, the Martin shirt. Yeah, I like this one. I just, I just uh, found a bunch of shirts in my drawer. Thought I'd um, mix it up a bit. This was fun and interesting. Yeah, I th actually think this was. I think this was really interesting. Thank you. But for the reasons I said earlier, which I won't repeat. Maury, I just love your website. So well organized. Thank you. You get a lot of compliments today, my friend. Awesome. <laughs> Tone guy says, "Got to join the conference call. Have a great weekend, everybody." All right, let me end up the the, uh, the poll here to finish up, and we'll see what people Thank voted. Thank you, Tone guy. Okay, so you click on it. I'm still learning this feature, but it's kind of cool. End poll, and I'll look at my phone. That should tell me on there what the result is. Should we do this again? Ninety percent said. <laughs> Maury scared. <laughs> Yes. All right. So my question is, who's the 9% that said no? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they won't be here for the next one. That's I fine. I guess they won't. I like that, though. Uh, that is anonymous. We had 21 votes out of 28 pe uh, people. No, 21 people, 21 votes right now. So we had everyone voted. That's great. Thanks, guys. I like this. We'll, I'll incorporate this into the show in the future. If we, do, if we have like, thoughts or questions, I'll do a poll again, because then you can answer without any kind of yeah, don't worry, I can't see who voted what. I wish I could. I can't see who. Can you imagine? And by the way, I can see <laughs> Tone Guy. Tone Guy, watch out. I'm coming, coming to your place tonight. No, just kidding. I can't see. I, like, I think it's great. I think the fact we couldn't see the guitar and we can do these anonymous polls is really cool because it takes away all of that stuff, right? Yeah. Really, really cool thing. So I'm going to use that on the next one. Great. I'm glad. So great stuff, Maury. Thanks again for joining me. I always appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't make next week. That's going to be a good show. Well, actually, some of the viewers... Uh, do a part. Are you sorry that Maury can't make this? Because <laughs> some of the viewers will be happy because we're going to do a pure Q&A with Spoon Phillips. I know we've got a lot of Spoon Phillips fans here in the chat. Oh, so yeah, that's going to be amazing. I'm going to be hosting. Gonna be the best things. I'm going to be hosting. We'll let Spoon take all your questions. So have a think this week what you want Spoon to talk about. And bring him with you next week, 4 p.m. EST. And invite your friends. Let's give them a good crowd in here. It'd be great. And uh, yeah, I think that was great. If you want to check out this guitar, I would say go check out Maury's website. But you've all been on there all afternoon anyway. <laughs> so I don't need to do that today. Uh, no, good stuff. Thanks. And Old says, have a great time. Am I on Thursday? Yes, I'm, I'm doing every Thursday now. Every Monday, Thursday, and Sunday, 4 p.m. EST. Uh, if I can't ever make it, I'll put it on, on the socials or... Actually, YouTube has a thing now as well. If you're subscribed, I can post a, uh, like a post to say I'm not going to be there. So watch out for that. But I'm going to be oh, there cool. Thursday. Yeah, I want to I answer 
uh, so last week I, I loaded up all the comments I had a bunch from years ago I hadn't, uh, hadn't answered and I went through them all and I had some recent ones that I felt could use a longer answer I didn't want to sit there and type that all day long so I put a short answer and then said join me Thursday and I'll go into more details then I read them out and I give more of my thoughts and then pe actually, last week was great because people in the chat were also giving me their opinions on what I was saying live as well so we like further continued the conversation really 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 fun stuff so yeah and sure. anything goes like just ask me about anything on Thursday like gear singing playing songs any absolutely anything so it's just like a hangout it's just a casual hangout and then we roll into with the support we roll into Martin versus Martin 6 p.m. I daren't go past 6 p.m. I finished 10 to 6 <laughs> so people could go and get their coffee I daren't uh, I was waiting for the comments I'm gonna go to Maury's <laughs> 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 but he might not be on this week so I might just keep going Heck, yeah, I might we'll find out soon. I might roll in. I might roll into six o'clock. Do Martin versus Martin myself. We'll see how many people are there. That might be better. All right. <laughs> or Martin versus Yamaha. No, better not do that. Thank you, Aaron and Maury. Have a great evening. YouTube for me and Maury podcast. We'll talk about Maury next week. Yes, we always do when he's not here. <laughs> Please do a special one day on how to strap lock your Martin with electronics installed. Not much info about there for acoustic guitars. Okay. I was actually thinking that myself the other day because I've, I've got a gig um, next week where I want to use strap locks because I'm going to be like jumping around and not really, but I just want it to fall off while I'm playing. Don't so, have you before we go? Have you ever put strap locks on an acoustic guitar? I have not. No. I think uh, our friend the real Ting has done that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look into it. It's it's a good point. With some with some pickups, when you plug in the cable. On the end pin it secures the strap which is cool but there are some systems from like um Daddario that, that claim to do that as well but yeah with 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 some of my guitars the, the the cable will actually lock that in anyway so it's just the other side but yeah maybe that could use a strap lock yeah i'll think about it thank you jasper um Chazza says not here thursday but i try to be for i try to be here next week yeah well anytime's great and don't forget you can watch the replay uh as well after the fact so that's great right everyone that was a great show even better than i thought it would be and we'll say goodbye and see you well maury have a great vacation but i'll see you on your channel during the week and i'll see you back here in two weeks time don't forget next week is spoon phillips we'll see you then bye bye